We're just having a wee chat here before we get down to the, the real chat with uh, Corey Icon, Vera Duckworth, Liz Dawn. Very nice to see you, Liz. You've been hanging around a long time this morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hope it's worth it. Have we started? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's been started. Do you know I did this on the other? Yeah. I did, honest to God. I must be going a bit funny. <laughs> I didn't know you'd. Don't worry. <coughs> He's thrown you because actually we're gonna, we are going to have a competition. My cough's worse than you. you. Yeah, so let him calm down as well. Uh, we'll go to the competition. How does How's it pick it a mix off? of prizes worth £60,000? No, we're round. still on. We're Louis still Spence on. has got the details. We're coming back to you in a minute. Coming back to you. It's competition first. <laughs> Thank you, Louis. Now, this is for real. OK, this is for so real. this is for real. <laughs> a up, Chuck, our final guest, Grace the Cory Cobbles, <laughs> for over 30 years as Vera Duckworth. Yeah, during that time, she had her fair share of laughter and tears, and most of those tears were from Tearaway Son Terry, of course. Well, she went from Knickerstitcher to Queen of the Rovers. <laughs> but come rain or shine, one thing always remained the same, and that was you had Jack. Even though you didn't always appreciate him at the time, he was there yeah. by her side. And I That's Bill singing. I want to cry. Oh, well, cry, cry. No, okay. You, um, you it, think of him every day, you were saying. Yeah, um, he's been a part of my life for 30 odd years. Uh, worked together, he was my best friend, we never had a row. Can Seriously. you imagine Seriously. that? Seriously. Were you even working together all those years? Never had a row. I mean, most people row, don't they, a bit? But um, they were fabulous, they were lovely. I miss him. In fact, I'm missing him more the longer he's gone. Well, he passed away last November. Last November, yeah. And he was here in that very couch a few months just before that, and we had a good chat with him. And he, he knew about... Well, well, you knew about how ill he was. Mm. Did he know about how ill you were? Yeah, we both knew. Um, you see, I left five years ago because I just couldn't manage. Mm. Uh, so I've had five years of another life, you know, with family and uh, grandchildren. And he, he left for two years, I think, before he died. Wonderful man, mm. yeah. And you say, you know, you kind of covered up for each other on set, oh. didn't you? Because he knew about your problem with your lungs and you were struggling. Yeah, it? we were a real team. I mean, I used to have lines all over. All over the table, in nappies. Like the generation <laughs> game. Yeah. Frozen chicken in the oven. <laughs> and he used to make me laugh. Um, but we just got through. Actually, you're a Jack and Vera, only posh. <laughs> <laughs> we were a Jack and Vera and rough. That's a great compliment. <laughs> you know, every, every script I got, uh, I had to hit him. And I used to ring him up and say, oh, Bill, I've got this script, uh, this script and I've got to it again. And he said, don't worry, I'll duck. Well, he never did. Oh, Mr. God, I've hit him with so many things. In fact, I once hit him with a frozen piece of fish <laughs> that big. I thought, that can't hurt him. It knocked him over the table oh, onto the settee. And he just dear, does dear. this. He just, you know, like, I don't say I'm fed up with this. <laughs> I'm going to really hurt you. Well, a saint that man was. Why, do you, why do you think everybody loved Jack and Vera, that partnership, so much? I think because everybody knew her, Jack and Vera. You know, they'd say to me, oh, you just like my auntie, and uh, Jack's like my uncle, and, you know. But it got bad. You know, I've got COPD. I've had it ten years. And what is that? It, it's uh, like emphysema. Yeah. I've only got a third of my lungs working, and mm -hmm. um, there's only so much you can do. But thank God I've had ten years yeah. of it. But you've had ten years that a lot of people didn't know about how you were suffering. I mean, for, three, you've, been, you've been in a wheelchair, really, yeah. for a lot of that yeah. time as well. Three million of it in, in Britain, and they don't know they've got it. Is that right? Wish I'd never smoked. Is it, is it always caused by smoking, though? Yeah. yeah. Well, I used to do the clubs, didn't I? But sure, everybody smoked. You'd be on everybody singing. Everybody did. And the audience... I used to work in a bar, and I think, now, oh, what, when you, what you used to... The, the fumes you used to go into, yeah. everybody smoking, clearing up ashtrays, all I that. Couldn't, I couldn't manage without a cigarette. If the phone rang, I'd have to light up and, hello. Uh -huh. You know, it's for me, isn't it? So what were you doing before you came into Coronation Street, which was about 1976 or so? 74, yeah. first time. So you were... What were you doing before I that? I used to do the clubs just at weekend, cos I had four children. Uh, so I couldn't do midweeks. Um, and then I got uh, little extra parts. 
But the funny thing is, Alan Parker that got this award last night... The film director? Mm. Yeah. He sort of... He, he chose me for two commercials. Did he? What were they? Uh, Cadbury's Cookies and... Um, <laughs> Uh, for Micah. For Micah? For Micah. Yeah. What did you have to do for For Micah? Well, I had to go in a shop and say I'd like a, t a table that seats six. And this silly husband that I had with me, every time uh, he told a lie, I put this thing on his head. I can't describe it now, but it was a bit <laughs> But it was funny at the time. <laughs> Here, talking about silly husbands, you've got a man who's not too silly, stands in the wings over there. He's Dawn. Dawn, you don't want to come over and sit down, do you? He does everything with come me. On, Dawn, come, come on, Dawn. Come on over. Oh. Come on over and join us and sit down here. Hello, because Dawn. This ma Dawn, sorry to put you on the spot. Just very good no, seeing you. No, all right. Come on and sit down. Does what he's told. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you, you've got no microphone on, yeah. so we'll not, we'll not talk to you about things. But how reliant or how much do you depend everything. on this man? No. Aren't I? I'm, I'm on. Um... Is he the real Jack then? He is Jack personified. Is he how, how like or unlike Jack is he? Well, I can hit him with a frozen fish. <laughs> <laughs> I did <didn't know> that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny it's like. Cook, um... It does the cooking. I were never any good at. Are you Ruth? I'm not bad. You're yeah, not I'm bad. okay. I'm Ooh, okay. I hate it. And this, you're a great grandma since we saw you last. Congratulations. I've got my son, uh, his daughter. Yeah, little girl, Ava Marie. She's gorgeous, mm. isn't she? And so do you spend a lot of time being grandma? Well, I, they live in York. Yeah. I live in Manchester, so I don't see that, you know, maybe every four weeks mm. or so. But, um, yeah, my son's 54. I've got three daughters in the 40s. And I have six grandchildren, so I'm lucky, aren't I? And do you still watch Corrie? Yeah. You do? I, do you know, my day starts with um, deal or no deal. <laughs> <laughs> then I go on to, what's the other? Train. Egghead. Egghead, all of it. Egghead. Uh, do you know, <laughs> they always win. And I, I can't stand it. You know, you get people on and they just lose by one. one. Oh. OK. Well, listen, we we've got to say thank you and goodbye to you. Keep well. Have you finished with me? I'm afraid yeah, we, have. we have. This is what's on next week. 10.30. Well, Liz, we will go through the rest of what you watch on the telly <laughs> while everybody else enjoys loss and performing, learn to love again. See you See tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>